Five state investigators arrived at Old Indiana this morning to inspect every ride in the park. The last time inspectors checked over the train was May, and it got the all clear. But Sunday, something went wrong. The cars jumped the tracks, throwing passengers into trees. But there is undisputed evidence, both physical evidence at the scene and statements from uh, people who were riding the train that the train was going too fast. But investigators still don't know if the high speed was caused by a mechanical failure or by the operator, 22-year-old Jamie Marcus of Lafayette. Marcus was in hiding today, and his uncle gave a clue as to why. What did he tell you about what happened? He was just told that he wasn't supposed to talk about it with anybody. Old Indiana management was also staying mum today, even refusing to repeat yesterday's official claim. No, we've never experienced this kind of incident. Actually, they have. Six News has spoken with half a dozen old Indiana customers who say that on four different occasions this summer, the train derailed. It happened to Kim Gower on July 10th. She like gunned it, like trying to gun it to get up a fast speed. And it just like made a big loud noise and it went off the track. And she said that it happens all the time. She said this happens all the time. So. Like how often? Like, it seemed like every day how she acted. Like it was an everyday thing. Like it was no big deal. Until yesterday, no one was injured in the train derailments, which may explain why the sheriff didn't know about them. Anyone that has information on that train, uh, that has rode that train particularly yesterday or any other time where there has been a derailment or a problem with that train, we would like for them to call the Boone County Sheriff's Department.